Hello. This is a quick showcase of my disk drive temp storage for encoded storages. In a box storage, you want to store full boxes like this. However, you'll generally have to merge like a lot of partially full boxes to get these full boxes. Um, if you only have one box, you can't merge it, obviously. So you need a temp storage to store boxes until a pair arrives. This is my solution. It's an 8-bit temp storage that stores partials for up to 32 codes in each of these 8 storage chests, which is enough for 256 unique item types. Um, that's what we need for that massive storage hall I was in a moment ago, so you can add more chests, but this is all we needed. The temp can access any of the first 32 slots in any of these chests. Ignore the last 22 slots for now. Um, but basically, when you put a code in and a box, the code will correspond to an exact slot in an exact chest, and the system needs to check that slot to see if there's a box in it already. It will cycle through the chest until it reaches the slot that you wanted, and then it will check if the item in that slot is a box. If it's a box, then it will send both of them to be merged, and will replace the slot in the chest with a placeholder unsackable item, like loose bottles. If the item in the slot is not a box, then it will put the box that you gave it into that slot, and it will just wait there for a pair to arrive. Um, and we'll send the placeholder item into some chests at the back. We also have a placeholder item in the hopper under the chest, so that we can push the item we want out of the hopper without pulling unwanted items from the chest. Basically, when it pulls out the item we want to check, we immediately put this item back in the chest, so the hopper pulls this item out instead of one we care about. Uh, I believe Crane was the first person to come up with this. If not, then it was Optic. Let's see it working. I'm going to select the 13th slot in chest 2. So I put 2 into this decoder, which was made by Crane, and 12 into the timing circuit. Then when I put a box in, you can see it'll start to drain the chest. The items being emptied are stored temporarily in this chest here, as you can see, um, which we need to do to preserve the order. We can't just put them into the dropper elevator directly, because it'll randomize it. The chosen slot did not contain a box, so we're putting this box into that slot. It will now reset, and you can see our box will be in the correct slot once it's done. Let's say we do have a box in the slot already. It'll... I'll do the same slot. Uh, it'll do the exact same thing, but since we have a box there already, it'll send both of them to be merged, and then it'll add a placeholder item to the chest and reset. Last thing, there are a few safety features that I don't think any other disk drive has. These comparators check if the chests are reset properly, which is why the chest is full even though the last 22 slots aren't addressable. It's just easier to check for signal strength 15 than 10 or 11. Um, then we've also got a readout from the placeholder item reservoir. So both of these checks will theoretically never really matter. It's just in case of unloads or human error, like not setting up properly or taking items out. Right, um, that's about it really. Thank you for watching. Again, thanks to Crane for the decoder and the concept of um, putting a dummy item in the hopper. Well, I didn't use any of their wiring, I want to thank Optic Nerve and JRoy, as I did look at their disk drives to just make sure I'm not completely stupid, only like moderately stupid. So, thanks to them. Um, yeah, have a nice day. Check the description for a well-done load on the schematic.